Well, now that Pokemon Science and Magic is sadly over, but also kind of like gladly over, <laughs> it's time for me to give my Pokemon team. Now, like I did for Tempest's team, I'm gonna give like some honorable mentions before we get into the main, just do the thing. Or actually, you know what? No. I'm gonna give off three of the Pokemon, and then give off some honorable mentions, and then do three more of the main party. Just so it doesn't feel like, you know, like, why well, I'm just gonna skip ahead to where it is. No, you're not skipping ahead of it. <laughs> I'm gonna give you my bullshit it when you're least expecting it. Like, a, you know, a plug-in ad. By the way, this video is sponsored by nobody. Because no one would ever want to sponsor me. Anyway, let's get into the main gist of things. So let's start with the obvious ones, the ones that we're all gonna see coming. Slamrox is my starter, it's the freaking fire type. I we know it was a fighting at first because recent Pokemon has been mostly like we can have the fire be anything except fighting because God forbid we have that happen again. The Pokemon fans would never let us live it down because we have no spines. I don't know what the big deal was with the fire fighting, but then again, I'm also the guy who had this Blaziken as his favorite Pokemon, so. Hmm. And then there's Valorora. I probably mispronounced that, which is the regional bird, and it's there because it's the regional bird. <laughs> I'm just gonna be blunt with you there. <laughs> Every Pokemon team probably has a bird on it somewhere. It's kind of like an unwritten rule. If you're playing a, if you're doing a playthrough of Pokemon, there's a bird on there, and there was a bug on there at some point, probably. Anyway, next up would be Alolan Vulpix slash Ninetales because the reason I put both up is because I would try to keep the Alolan Vulpix to stay a Vulpix as long as possible because Alolan Vulpix is the best. It's freaking regional variant, and you can fight me on that one. I will, and by that I mean you can battle me on with Pokemon at that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I try to keep it like that and just give it an Eviolite if possible. Like maybe I get one through one of the side quests. But at some point I probably have to evolve it because I keep getting my butt kicked. But you know, I, I could have, it's an early game Vault Picks, and you know, I could have it be cute and adorable for as long as I can. That's not illegal. Really, it's because it's a vault, so I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> and now that we've got an half of the list, now we can get it to the honorable mentions. One of which being Kragalord, because it's a Kraken and it's a Dragon Water type. Mostly it's for the fact that it would remind me of like the original Science and Magic with the couple fish and all that stuff. You know, just a little nostalgia for the old days. I know Esco Knight, every time I probably bring that up, he's like, ugh, don't remind me, but it's like, I liked it. I genuinely did. Plus, I would get to call. Plus, the couple fishes of dragon water type. You know what I'm calling that thing? Palkia. Okay, the couple fishes in the dragon water. The Kragalord is. So yeah. Another honorable mention goes to Ferris Wheel, aka the Crytonian Ferret, because that pun is just too brilliant to pass up on. I can't ignore it. <laughs> Ferris Wheel is great. <laughs> Unfortunately, we'll probably be replaced later on in the game by a Pokemon that's coming up soon. But next is Gasamugon. I probably mispronounced it, but it's also Crytonian Gastriodon's evolved form. And I'm not gonna lie, the entire reason it's here is because it's so freaking badass. It is pure freaking metal. It's metal as fuck, if you know what I mean. <laughs> like it's just awesome. And my final honorable mention would be Clink. Before S Code Knight crucifies me, here's what I do it. I keep I catch it, make it so that way it can feel special, and then immediately release it into the wild and break its heart. And I do that with every single Clink. Oh boy, I get to have a new master! Release. Get the fuck out of my life. It's like that awkward zombie comic with the trainer and his Zubat, and if you know which one I'm talking about, you know exactly what I mean. It's fucked up, but it's so f god, but it's only because it's true. <laughs> okay, maybe that would redeem it a bit in Esco's Knight's eyes, but I think I just kind of sullied myself for on him forever. He's just be like, no, don't watch Unleashed anymore, you're cancelled on Twitter. Joke's on you, I'm not on Twitter. Anyway, back to the main list. Next up would be Woolarm, which is Crytonian Wooloo's evolved form. Mostly because is <laughs> I think I need a fighting type, and I wouldn't know that Slam Rocks would become a fire fighting, so it's like, eh, I need a fighting type for it, and plus Slam Hey, Slam Rocks is gonna be a fighting type until it's fully evolved. So I'm gonna need a fighting type until then. 
and since there's a lot of ice types in Crytonia. Also, it would be to scare the fuck out of the narrator. <laughs> so, yeah. Look out, or he'll fight Yeah, Seriously. Another one would be a fossil Pokemon. Toxodon. Because I want to use a fossil Pokemon for a change. Like, the only time I've used a fossil Pokemon was Gen 6. And that's because they give you the freaking fossil machine so goddamn early in the game. And you know what? That's how you're supposed to fucking do it. <laughs> you can wait till like, I don't know, Gym 3 or something like that. Like, that's fine. But if you're gonna make me do it all the way to, like, let's be real here. Gen 1 did the absolute worst. But Gen 1 also did a lot of things wrong. <laughs> I mean, we could have nostalgia for it and respect it and all that jazz, that's fine. But it's also really fucking flawed. But anyway, uh, it, it, it's, it, it keeps being brought up for a reason enough about Gen 1. I just kind of wish there was one thing about Gen 1 they didn't keep fucking doing. I don't want to wait till post-game. And they get a Pokemon that's level 20 when all my Pokemon are in like the level 40s or 50s. I mean, not 50s, but, you know, late 30s, early 40s. Hey. But yeah, talk, and plus, Toxodon doesn't have any typing overlapping with my party. It is a poison normal no poison rock type so yeah some of my teammates some of my team members might have some overlap but other than that yeah I mean I wanted to use the cannon one and the uh, Crytonian uh, freaking tyrant but I've used a tyrant before and I didn't want to have some typing overlap with the fire type so maybe for one where I didn't pick the fire type starter and my final team member which would be the replacement for Furus Wheel after we got to a certain point would be Ramarasu. Because that freaking thing is great. I like that thing's design even as this like little go go thing form. I think it's the Crytonian go go? Okay, maybe not that much. But it's still like awesome and I think it's hella cool. Well, it's just an electric type and I kind of feel like I need an electric type and I ain't gonna use a fucking Pikachu clone. I have, stan I have some standards. God's sakes. So yeah, that's my final team. Just for a recap, it's Slamrox, Valorora, Vala, Vala, Alolan Vulpix slash Ninetales, Woolarm, Toxodon, and Ramarasu. That would be like the main team that I think I would use in Pokemon Science and Magic. Well, maybe Pokemon Science and then do a different team for Magic if I got both versions, but you get the general idea. And yeah. That's my teammate party. So, yeah. Not a lot of, as many Pokemon as Tempest, but I didn't want to say as much. And plus, some of the ones I would have would just be regional variants like Crytonian or Serang and stuff. It's like, eh. I mean, it's not that the Pokemon didn't interest me, it's just that I kind of wanted to narrow this down a bit more and not go on for 10 minutes and say absolutely nothing of value. Which is what I say in all of my reactions. So, yeah. Uh, I'm kid. I kid. I mock myself so I don't have an overinflated ego. Healthy, I swear. Uh, no. Anyway, that's my team, and that's the final thing I'll say on Science and Magic. Assuming there isn't a random extra episode at zero out of nowhere, anything can freaking happen. That's one thing I've learned. <laughs> that's one thing I've learned in my life. Never say never, because it will fucking happen. You just don't know when. There was a time in which we never thought we'd land on the moon. We did it. I don't care what you people think that we didn't go to the moon. Think. I think we did. And I care about what I think. Someone has to. Now I'm blabbering. Anyway, yeah. Gotta get some more. Bye.